Hello everybody, welcome to another Facebook Live. It's so nice to have your company. Um, wow, over 300 of you have already watched the one from earlier today, so it's been super busy today. In fact, it's been crazy because we're getting ready for Doncaster. Um, we've got our big workshop on Friday where there's going to be over 200 people. Lovely Nancy Watts going to be joining me and then Saturday and Sunday, what a weekend we've got lined up. So if you don't already have your tickets, get over to the Highlight Crafts website or Crafting Live and make sure that you join us because it's going to be a fun packed weekend. And um, also myself, Melanie, David, we've all been, um, Amanda, uh, Kasha, we've all been prepping free make and takes for you. So it's going to be quite an exciting weekend. So a very warm welcome if this is your very first time watching Facebook Live. In fact, if it is, would you just put a little note in the comments so I know that you're there and I can say a special hello to you. Um, wherever you're watching us, it's a real pleasure. Let's get cracking because I am going to take my um, heart in my hands in this one. I'm not quite sure what the expression is. Carl laughs at this all the time because I get my words mixed up. But uh, I'm going to try something I haven't tried before. I've got a demo lined up for you and I haven't practiced it. So fingers crossed, I think it's going to work. But if it doesn't, you know what, we'll just find something else. So let's take a look at this collection, first of all. So I've got two sets that build together to create Babylon Brook. So the first part of it, which you can see there on the screen, starts off with the riverbank and then we, we go on to the swans and the little cygnets and of course our fabulous little otters. Now, um, first of all, let's talk about the riverbank because the river and bank doesn't just come with the actual river itself, it also comes with all of the logs. Now the logs are really, really important because these elements we're going to use to build a dam and the dam is built by the beavers that the otters then adopt when the beavers have moved out. Now I learnt all of that from you guys out of earlier Facebook Live because I wasn't quite getting it right but you put me right so thank you for that one and this is what you're getting and I love this collection because the way that we can line up the elements it makes the rivers actually look like it's flowing. So that's the first of the dies. and just to give you an idea of how many you actually get in that set I've got a collection here. There is one missing because it's actually already in my, um, between my plates, ready for some die cutting. But this gives you an idea of how many dies you're actually getting in that set. So anyway, that's the first one. The second one that I've got for you are the swans and the cygnets. Now you've got three little cygnets and then you've got Gwyneth and Arthur. I'm not quite sure which one's which. I'm not really sure that that matters too much. I think this is Arthur and this is Gwyneth. But um, both of them actually, although could it be the other way around? Whichever way it is, both of them look amazing when they've been decoupaged. And these little signets are just perfect for adding detail into your design. And then we've got the otters. Now he's my favourite because he's, he's there having a little swim. And do you know, one of those little signets looks lovely if it's, it's resting on his tummy. You're just cute. And oh look, that one, his paws turned up. It looks like he's having a scratch. <laughs> but actually, there he is. And then you've got two of them together as if they were literally going under the water. One of them's already wet and he's coming out and this one is just having his lunch. So they're the three of them together at £44.99 but got a special price today of £40. And um, remember that original price would be £53.97 so you've got a really great deal there if you buy them all individually. Now the next set is by the stream and this set of four die or four sets of 11 dies actually has got a really nice collection of elements because this is the mustard. Now this is one that you're actually going to use a lot of the time because we're going to dip into it but what I particularly like is how glossy the leaves are and how the light shines on those. So we're going to be making more of that 
in this um, show and I'm going to be showing you some more ideas of what we can do with these leaf elements, taking them away from the flower stems. So that's the first one. The second one we've got is our wild garlic. And what we've done here, not only have we got the leaf in a great position to be able to snip it away, but we also have got the actual element that you can see there, which is where the little bud is. Now, I'm joined today by my lovely producer, Andrew, who is actually talking to me, me in my ear. And he actually just said to me he thought garlic grew in the ground. Well, it does. So the garlic bulbs grow underground. These are the garlic flowers. So there you go. So they're the garlic flowers. I love them. They smell wonderful. If you ever go for a walk in the woodlands and you buy a babbling brook or a stream, that's what you're going to smell. Now, the next one, and thank you to everybody who helped us with the pronunciation. I did have a little chat with Jess and the team because one of their favourite things is to give things names. They also know that with my dyslexia, I'm pretty good at making it sound like something else. So um, we did need a little bit of help there. But this is fabulous because you can cut into these elements and we can make it so much more. This can actually be some of the foliage that's just abandoned in the river. In fact, if I bring this in, you can see here this bit of foliage and the leaves that are just floating in amongst the water. And all I've done there is take this element and then turn it about 45 degrees and make that into something completely different. One more to go, and it's this one. And these are the lovely... Um, beautiful little orchids. So these are wild orchids, delicate, detailed, often protected in this country. So really lovely to have as part of our designs. So I'm just going to share with you some ideas and inspiration. And if you do want everything all together, you as a Robin's Nest member, you save £31.44. So I'm going to suggest that for seven, uh, 47 dies and seven sets, that's the best way to go. And please, if you're not a member of the Robin's Nest, please join us because that's where you get all these fabulous demonstrations. But also we'll try and bring you lots more ideas and inspiration. So what I'm going to do is just show you some of the ideas that we've got. Now in here, you can see this water that's literally running across the design. And we made this in an earlier Facebook Live and it actually shows you the water which was made by Pin Flare Glue Gel. Then I'm just gonna share this one with you because it's very similar design in terms of what you can do, but extending areas of it using more of the babbling brook and then the little signets and there's that fabulous otter. And then these are some from the design team. And I really want you to be able to see the depth in this because Kath's done a fantastic job. Um, she's added in all the detail and it's all being held to stay really upright and strong using construction acetate. And I'd be suggesting you might want a construction acetate box for this one, but let me share something else that she did. If you look on the back, you can see this tape that we've got here. Now, this is actually a binding tape, but she's used it and snipped into it to go round. But she's used that to get that really neat finish on the back. What a great idea to be able to share with everybody. And then this one, a little bit smaller, will actually fold flat to go into an envelope. So all these elements fold down. And what you've got is, and I'm just going to show you that. So you have to fold down the little bit of acetate there. So I'll just hold that one down. But that will go into an envelope. If I just pop it all back out, so I push out the bottom and then open up the back, it's freestanding and it gives you a fabulous design that you can see there. Love the way that these flowers have been used as a background, almost like the foliage. Then the heron is in front. He's from a previous collection, but I think he's still available on the website. And then we've got all of these lovely flowers and the butterfly just adding a little bit more dimension. Then I'm just going to show you this one because, again, this is another one that looks very layered. But 
would fold flat to go in an envelope. So, you know, we're still thinking, how can we post these? Not making loads of dimensional designs that you then, you know, there's nothing else you can do with them. It's got little, just little squares inside, little rectangles, so they're four-sided. And they just, as I fold it flat and just let you see there, they just fold down or push back up like that. And then that stands, okay, you need to obviously get them back in the right place, but that will then stand with all the elements actually giving you the detail. So I'm just gonna put that one back so that it's flat and there we go. So you can get that so it gives you all the detail. And again, bringing in other elements from some of your previous collections. Right, I'm gonna stop there for a moment. We'll look at some more in a little while, but what I want to do is just get started showing you one of these designs. So I'm gonna try something different. Um, what I've got in here, in fact, let me cut this while we're talking and I can just say a few hellos to you. So hello to everybody who's just joined us. And um, wow, um, Helene, hello to Carol, to Juliet, to Kathleen. We've got um, Tracy, we've got Ruth. I've also got um, another Carol. Wow, um, thank you everybody for joining in. It really is a pressure, a pleasure. Um, this is where you're gonna find all of the items on the website and don't forget everybody that you have got special prices if you are either using Clearplay, but most of all the biggest discount for, is for our Robin Nest members. So if you're a member of the Robin's Nest, remember that's how you get the biggest discount. But also guys, it's not just about that, it's about lots of ideas and inspiration. So take a little look at the website and do check out how to become a member of the Robin's Nest. And if you're not, if you've never registered with us, drop your email in our um, register box because we'll tell you more about some of the other stuff we've got coming up. Next year, we've got a, a fabulous new training school opening. Some of it will be face to face, but there'll be a lot online and there'll be a lot free. So if you're somebody that loves crafting, it's a great place to be. Okay, so I put a piece of cardstock down and I took one of my dies. In fact, I think I may have taken the largest of them. And I have just cut myself an aperture in here. Okay, don't worry about that white stripe at the top. I didn't notice it when I chose it, but I'm, I'm not gonna worry about it. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself a scoreboard and I'm going to work with this piece that I've got here. I'm also going to select another piece of card and I've got a little cupboard down here that's a great place for me to dip into it every now and again. And I'm just gonna select a second piece that I can use on the outside. So I'm gonna use this one. So this one is just gonna get folded in half. I'll butt it up to the butt bar there and then just crease that. So that's the first piece. It's got a little bit of a shimmer in there. It's quite nice, isn't it? Now, this one, I need to do some scoring. So first of all, I need to score down the middle. So I'm gonna score there, hoping that that is exactly in the middle. So I'm just gonna double check it, it is. And because this piece of card, I'm not quite sure where it's come from. I just know it's come out the stash. I'm just gonna do, I'm scoring it on both sides. Yeah, there we go. So I've got a nice score line there, which you can see. The next part of this is I'm gonna, going to score just inside this, um, this design here. So just inside the stream. Now, I'm already thinking, I might be wishing that I'd done that stream a little bit, um, lower down, but we'll see. I've just put my, um, my glue applicator just down there because it helps remind me instantly where the design is, where I'm gonna score. What, that's just a little top tip for you. 
And it really does just make life so much easier, especially if it's the end of the day and you've been crafting all day and it's sort of getting towards bedtime and you're thinking, I'm just going to get this finished. Just having that there, just move that out of the way now and we're all done. So what I've done now is I've created myself a pop-out card, but I've used the design that I've got here to actually create that scene, that stream that we're going to have in there. And then we're going to create this pop out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, first of all, I need to line up my stream. So I've got this piece, which is from the, the um, back of this design, and I could put that there, but Actually, let me have a think about this. Maybe I want, may, might want to do something a bit different. I did say I hadn't done this design before, but I do want to try it. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this. So I need to make sure I've got it in the right position. So I'm just going to line up that part of the design and I'm going to start off by putting some glue inside here. So a little bit down that score line and a little bit on each side. Not too much, but enough to hold it in place. Now I'm now gonna come to here and just check that I've got that level and check I've got that level on that side and that fits. Now I'll take this away. The glue that I've already got will actually make sure that it stays in place. And if I put a little bit more glue on here and just be, a, you know, think about where you need the adhesive because I'm going to need a little bit under there. I don't need that. So I'm going to move that out of the way. Let's get that out of the way. I do need that. We're not going to see this bit round it because I've got lots of foliage to put, put on. So I'm not worried about that. If I may have a little bit of that glue showing. So that's the first part of this story here. Now I need to make sure that this will still fold in half because that's going to be my card front. So I've got that part there and this is now going to be my brook. So I can see my brook through there. Okay, so now I need to start thinking about how I'm going to build this design. So first of all, I'm going to take some of the, um, the, the twigs and the branches that I've got, and I'm gonna put these on. And I'm gonna start by building it behind, first of all. So these want to go on flat to start with. So let's put one or two of them on. So we're gonna have a look at this. And as I'm doing this, remember I did say to you, I, was, I wanted to try it. I didn't know whether, you know, I've got my proportions right or anything else. Just thought I'll give it a go, we'll do it live. And as we go along, if I need to make changes to the design, I'll talk to you about what I would do and why. Um, and so that, whoops, it's not any glue on there. So that we can do the changes as we go along. But so far, I think we're in a good place. So just gonna get a bit more of this. Let's get more of that dam built there. And I want another piece of it. I'm going to save that one because that one was double thickness. So that was one that I'd already glued two of the um, pieces together. So I'm going to put that piece there. I'm going to have another piece that's stuck on the stones. So it's going to go between these stones like that. So that's just landed just there. Take it, let's have another look, see how that's coming together. Quite like the effect I'm getting. Now I'm ready to start putting some other pieces on. So this one's gonna go over the top. So I'm gonna need a bit of adhesive just there. So that's just gonna catch. So I'm looking at how I'm building this. Now, for anybody who's just joined, I'm just doing something a little bit different. So I've cut the aperture out of the front of the card, or the inside of the card. I'm liking the fact that I've got lots of opportunity to be able to play with elements of this and, and how the effects I'm gonna get are going to work. Um, 
when this is all put together, I've got to think about what's going to happen to the way it's going to close. And already I'm thinking I may have um, perhaps might have wanted to change where my aperture elements are. But because of that, I'm making sure I don't go past this fold. So let's just have a look at this and see whether this is still going to fold in half. It is, if I open it up, I can open up the inside and then that will just pop out. So I can see a couple of areas I need to give some attention to. One of them's there, which means it needs to be either trimmed or glued over that crease. So I'm going to glue it in place, a very small amount, and the same on this one. So this is what I mean about thinking through the construction of the elements that you're working with, making sure that as you go along, everything still is working and we've got all those pieces in the right place. Now I'm, let's go back to this one. So we can still put some more um, pieces in. Now I've managed, did I move it? No, I moved the whole piece. Okay, so there we've got the start of the logs coming over the top, but I want to get some height to this. So I've got a little bit there, but I'm going to take some foam that I've already folded over. So this piece will be quite a bit higher. So it's double height and it's going to go in here. And big thank you to everybody for joining. Um, one of the things that I'd really like to ask you guys is, can you please keep telling me what you want me to do? Because what I'm doing, if it's just more of this, just let me know. But otherwise, I'm, you know, that's what you're going to get. Um, if you want, you know, other things, then please, you know, think about it and let me know, have those ideas. Okay, so now I want to bring my water down here. So I'm thinking about the sizes of these pieces. So actually, do you know what would have been better if I'd stuck this underneath? So it's not too late for me to do that and take that water like that. And just going to remember, we never cut anything straight if, it's, um, if the die is already um, shaped. So I'm just going to put this on and I've popped that in place. So I've brought the water down. So you can see now it's coming into this part. This bit is another part. So I'm bringing the water down in a trail. And, but this one I'm going to put on some foam. So I'm going to get some height. Then I'm going to check that the whole thing will cl still close, which I think it should. Let's just double check. So, yep, we've got still got that closure that we need there. Gosh, where's the time going? It's going so fast tonight. So there we go. So I've now got my brook coming down. I'm liking the way that's looking. Right. Now I'm going to put some of these flowers in. So I'm just going to build this up on the outside edge. So I want a little bit of greenery here. And I also want some of my wild garlic. Now, because I love the wild garlic so much, it's been designed so that you can take those leaves and they will allow you to do that detail all by yourself. I'm just checking if there's anything else I want to tuck underneath before I stick this down, because I think I can get a better result if I stick down. And I think this one might be one of the pieces. So let's think about the way we're going to stick it. I think the first thing I need to do is get my tape and it's a very fine one mil tape. It's going to go along that edge, top and bottom or both sides. So I've got both of those. Then if I come along this edge here with it, that's created a pair on that side and a pair on this side. So we'll take these backs off. I'm starting to like this. I'm thinking it's gonna to come together the way I hoped it would. Um, the more experienced you get card making, the more you'll be able to visualize the design as you go along. 
I'm thinking I could do with a little bit more of um, some tiny stones just there. And to make that one work, I'm going to take my foam on a roll and just give this a little bit of height to get that in. That's going to be a fit just here. So I've got to make sure that whichever side it goes, it doesn't interfere with that crease because we still need that to close. So happy there. OK, now let's line it all up and get this stuck in place. So first of all, I'm going to line up these outer edges like that. I'm going to take it and hoping that I've lined all this up well. I'm just going to make sure that goes into the middle. I'm just going to close my card there. Tiny little bit that needs trimming. But we've now got our stream which is dimensional. So we've created that and we've got the logs inside and the elements of detail that we wanted. I've got a few more pieces, so I'm just going to tuck some pieces in here. And to do that, I'm going to make the most of this one and use it and get two out of one. So a little bit of tape there and have this log just jutting out. Whoops. Not wanting to stick. Let's just get that to stick. Have that piece of log just jutting out to there. So, yeah. And then this piece that I've just cut, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue just there. And I'm going to get that just to, the, to those two pieces. Just to reinforce that a little bit. Overlap them. Get a bit of dimension. Right, come on, in you go. Right, so there we go. So we've got a nice part of the design coming together. So we've cut um, a couple of the stems from our wild garlic. Now, I've got tons of wild garlic somewhere. Where have you got? Under here. So this is gonna go up this side. So I'm going to take a couple of these and some of the smaller pieces, which are just here. So let's look at how this is going to sit. So I'm going to take it like that, making sure it stays on this side. The smaller pieces are going to go to here. So I'll pop this one on and stick it on well. I've chosen a card that's got um, almost like a silk finish to it. So it's not the easiest for gluing and making sure that you don't get um, glue marks in place. So do spend a bit of time just getting this in position properly. Make sure yours doesn't do what mine is, where it's lifting or I'm not getting the best results. So there, I love this. My mum used to say to me, do what I say, not what I do. <laughs> and often when I'm crafting, I actually thought about, think about that because it's so true because I often ask you to do things and think actually that isn't what I do or I just did. So I'm trying to help you get the best projects you can. So take that leaf off, we'll pop this one on. So this one's gonna go on flat. So just there, so we'll take you like that. Right, now I've got to link these two parts of the story. So I'm going to use these leaves that I've just cut off. So I'm going to start off by using this one. And I'm going to add this in, but not where I took it out from. I'm going to bring it in. Am I going to bring it in there? No. I'm going to bring it in so that it comes across here like that. Then... This one is going to come in down there. So we've now created that. Can you see how we've created that a little story here with these? So I'm just going to place that one just there. So that needs that bit just trimming. Then I've got another flower head 
that is going to need to I like it when we can do cards from start to finish and you can see how much has gone into it without um without me actually having to stop and say here's part of what I did earlier so I'm going into the middle on this one making sure it's not going across any of the little aperture holes the little eye hole islands that we've got so I'm going to get you just there and make sure that that green is lined up so it's on top like that so again if I just go underneath get a tiny bit of glue so that's that bit there I've got another couple of leaves that I'm going to use so I'm going to take this one and lift it up so it's up higher than it would have been and we'll put some of the tape underneath there and you know it's such a great way of being able to add all these elements and um, one thing I wanted to mention to you as well is everybody's been waiting for us to get the two red robin storage folders back well we're actually we've got them back and i wanted to be let you guys know first so for anybody who's wanting storage folders they are back in stock everyone so please don't miss out on getting those and we've got both sizes of them so you know great way for you to be able to just stock up if you'd like to Right, I've got these little bits of stick that I've got and I'm just going to use them to create a bit of a, a, a story to bring this all together. Now this one, when I cut it, the paper clearly slipped and it's not complete, but I wouldn't throw that away. What I would do is take one where the, the print is complete, layer them on top of each other, which would give me a really sturdy, um, log and then this one would be used somewhere where I wanted dimension so somewhere where I want to layer that up and get a little bit of um, height to it I would use that and even just there would be a good place for it so let's take some tape just use that and I'm making sure it comes across the bottom there but doesn't interfere with any of these fold lines. So now let's take a little look at how this is coming together. I'm just gonna hold it up to the camera so that you can see and look into it, which is going to be just there. So we're looking out, looking into it and seeing all the depth that we've got. So we've got lots of lovely detail going on here and um, now I need to put my animals in. So the next part of this is choosing whether I use beavers or um, whether I use my swans. And for the purpose of the inside, I'm going to use my beavers. So I'm just going to pick this little one. Whoops, pick him up. He is going to be running across the front just there. So that's the first place that we're going to put a beaver. And not a beaver, an otter even. Kept calling them beavers. They, that's because of the dams. Um, so hello everybody who's just joined. Thank you. I know lots of you have been having your tea. I'm having spaghetti bolognese tonight, I hope. I hope Carl's got me spaghetti bolognese. And um, I can't believe Andrew's talking about McDonald's. That's really not good. Look, I'm then going to put, what about putting another one just here? Putting him behind these elements. I could even have him inside. Um, let's put him inside. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to take him and I'm going to put him right inside here. So there we go. Um, hi Sophie, she's just dropped us a message. Hello, it's good to hear from you. Thank you. Let's put another little beaver here, another little mischief. I'm gonna have otter even. <laughs> These will be forever. Oh my gosh, we used to have um, doves at home, but somehow some of the doves got friendly with the pigeons and we called them digins. 
So maybe we could have something that's a hybrid of an otter and a beaver. A botter? No. A, uh, a botter? A uh, otiva? No. Uh, otiva? Uh, still not sure we've got it. Um, so we've got... We've got those elements all starting to come together. Now, I'm just going to, I'm just going to fold that back in, close this up because we've got to still decorate the front of the card. And I'm just going to take my scissors and just reinforce that crease that I've got just there. And that's, yeah, still everything's in the right place. Right, so we need a brook on the front. So I'm going to bring that brook right quite a long way down and we'll pop that on here and get some detail just here. Now, before I get that properly stuck down, you'll notice I've not stuck the edges, I mentioned a few things to do with these leaves. So I'm just going to snip into this one and I'm going to tuck it behind there. And then I'm going to snip into this one, just there, and that piece. And I'm going to tuck that over this side, just here. And then I'm going to go into this one, here. And I'm going to go under there, like that. So I'm going to start by putting these some glue down. So let's go. So a bit of glue there. I'm really sorry, I'm gluing quickly here. I'm not taking quite as much care as I would like to because I don't want to, I want to get as much crammed into this time as possible. So I'm putting my little elements in. I'm then going to use these pieces, but look at how I've been able to fill that green space just by having that element of the greenery just there. So this needs lots of depth and dimension. So I'm going to be using my glue gel on it. So I'm going to literally put a fair bit of this on because I want to layer it up and get some dimension. But I want this green behind. I didn't want to see the blue card. I wanted to see more of the actual design itself. Now let's take this piece. And with a bit of luck, I should be able to pick up some of that glue gel and get that up there. I'm just going to make sure that that's going to stay where I need it. So just stick, tuck that up. I'm going to take some of my um, pieces because we don't want this to just stop there. And we also, I think we might want to want use some of our, um, these beautiful orchids so all very special so I've got this nice um, triangular effect going on just to make it look like I've got two different dies I'm just going to trim into this one so I'm just going to take out that piece there I'm going to go through the middle you might not see that bit but just in case you do so I'll take that out and we'll get some glue just there I'm going to tuck that behind and get a little bit more depth there. So we've given ourselves some more detail. Now to make this look again, like it isn't just from the same die, I need to change that so that this comes to this side. So some wet glue and some adhesive just there. So that's coming together. And then I've got this lovely orchid here. And this is one of the things that I really try and think about when we're building these dies is making sure that you've got all the elements to make it as snippable as possible for you to get what you need out of it. So we've got that piece and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there and lift that up. Let's get some shape to it there. Now I'm going to go into the pieces of wood, which I mentioned. Let's get that stuck. And we're going to link all of this 
So this is going to get some glue across here. So while that's gluing down, I've got another piece that I'm just going to put there. So what you can see is I'm grounding the stems of the foliage so that it doesn't just sit sort of proud without, I'm putting tape on the back of this one. Now I think this is going to want two pieces of tape because to get the depth with this piece, we're going to need to lift it up more than one millimeter. So I'm popping that on two pieces and you're probably guessing where this one's going to go. It's going to go underneath that leaf there, but across the bottom of the brook. So it looks like it's meant to be part of it. Then I've got what this one's coming over the edge too far. So I'm just going to trim that piece back. I'm going to take another just piece of um, wood. Let's see where this one's going to go. I think we can get it so I can get a little bit of it just there. And I'm going to tuck that under and then another just a couple of small pieces. So I want one that's actually in the river because I want it to look like it's just floating down the river. Another piece, just a very fine piece that's going to come from there. Like, you know, I want to make sure we've not got these. I don't want to go zigzag. I'm just, that's what I was hesitating for just then is making sure that I break up the zigzag. So like that. Right now the fun bit. So we've got our lovely little duck. So our duck, our swan, I beg your pardon. Gosh, you guys must shout at the TV so much when I'm doing this. Then I'm going to go into my swans. Let's have a look at which one I'm going to use. Well, I think, oh, actually, this one's going to come through the reeds. So right through there like that, but this one is gonna be up there. So we've got two things going on here, and it's not a coincidence that I chose the watercolor to match the back of the um, paper or the papers to match the watercolor, and the swan coming through the reeds that I've got here. This one, I'd like to give a little bit more dimension to because he is just landing. So I'm just going to take out that back wing that I've got and just give this a, remember I did this earlier for you, just use my fingers to make sure that I'm getting that edge and I'm just going to snip into it as if it's having a fringe cut because I don't want it to be too solid. And then I'm just gonna flick these little edges up like that. And I'm gonna take the water away. So from just there, and that's going to just snip away like that. And then, hi, hi Deborah. Um, Thank you for joining. It's good that you made it. And yes, and don't forget, you can watch it back afterwards if you've missed anything. Right, is that part of one of my designs that I need to keep? I don't think so, I think it's a spare. Right, let's have a look at this. So first of all, to go through the post, this is going to fold completely flat. Well, not completely flat, but pretty flat. So you're going to be able to get that through the post. We've got somewhere up here that we could put our sentiment. And although this is all um, is literally a little scene, it actually suits the front of the card. Then when I open it up, I'm just going to pop out the front as you know, we would we would. And I'm going to sit this up so that you can see the whole card. So there we go so we're looking into it and we've got our front with all the detail on it so there's the front detail here's the inside now I did say when I did this I didn't wasn't sure if I'd got this aperture in the right place and I still think I'm wrong 
I think it would look nicer if I brought the aperture down a little bit, which would give me more room to bring some of these florals maybe over the top and almost like have a canopy of branches overlooking the stream. But we've got detail in there, we've got dimension. It's lovely and nice nice and well finished and the other thing that you could choose to do is some of our backing papers particularly the one that Kath has used here imagine using that backing paper for this and then cutting through into the stream I think that has got to be the next card I do because that would look incredible so when you do see this on Create and Craft, I think that is something that we could definitely be doing so that you can see that dimension. So I'm just going to do a quick recap and show you one or two of the samples that I didn't show you earlier. And um, just remind everybody that if you do want to get this collection, you need to head to Highlight Crafts. But the other thing is we've got Babbling Brook and By the Stream, together they create the complete collection Babbling Brook, but it's more, more than that. Please guys, join our, um, our community. Get onto the Create and Craft the, and the Highlight website and actually join us because Highlight's going to be bringing you lots of education. You can see we want to do more Facebook Lives. We want to bring you ideas and inspiration. And for anybody that wants to paint, check out my painting classes. They're every month and it's free. I'm going to be bringing you just general craft classes every month. Mel Heaton's going to be bringing you Scan and Cut. David's going to be doing Mixed Media. I mean, it doesn't get much better than all of that. So just make sure that you subscribe and then you can actually get all of that information sent to you. If you're coming to Doncaster, I cannot wait to see you. Please um, come and say hello to me. I'll be on the two Red Robin stands. Come and say hello and tell me you were on this class so I can put a face to the name because that is the best thing ever. And in the meantime, another project here. This is another one by the lovely Kath. And I just love the way she's managed to get the characters and the animals in there all together, but looking really clever. So, um, a massive thank you from me. We've got a lot going on here at the moment and um, it's exciting. The industry is an exciting place to be and I'm glad that you're part of it. Take care, stay safe everybody and uh, um, sp spaghetti bolognese for me for tea. I don't know what you're having but I'd love to know. See you soon. Bye-bye.